Welcome to Into Abundance, a Solvana podcast with Regan Hillier, self-made multimillionaire, serial entrepreneur, philanthropist, best-selling author, and the world's leading spiritual guide on abundance, prosperity, and soul set. In this podcast, Regan brings you the most powerful ideas, concepts, stories, wisdoms, and inspirations to help you rise and expand into higher levels of success, abundance, and prosperity in all aspects of your life. Hi there, it's Regan Hillier here and welcome to the Solvana podcast. I'm a speaker, a coach, an entrepreneur, and I'm really excited that for this episode, we're going to be diving into the 13 intuitive goddess codes, which I've channeled through, and I'll share a little bit around my journey on actually channeling them. What are the 13 intuitive goddess codes and what was my journey when it came to channeling them? This journey started out in Peru. You know, twice a year, myself and beloved Wampa take a hand-selected group of souls with us into the mountains of Peru. We work deeply with the grandmothers from the tribes of the jungle. We work with the lineage on the land and also the galactic lineage from the skies. And we help people to really release into their next level of abundance. We combine this work with sacred plant medicine and our potent alchemy tools. And myself and Wampa are also deep in the work with the entire group. We were about halfway through the immersion and I was lying in bed. It was about 6 a.m. and I could feel the sun softly coming in and hitting my face. And I was in this beautiful state where you're not quite awake and you're not quite asleep. You're in this dreamland (laughs) almost, but you're very conscious and aware of it. And I realized there was a voice ringing in my head loud and clear that said to me, you need to go to Greece. I also got a fright. I kind of woke up slightly and said, what? And the voice replied, you need to go to Greece. And the voice was clearer than ever. And I I said telepathically in my thoughts, I said, okay, when? And the voice super clear said, now. I said, I I can't go now. (laughs) I argued with my guidance. I'm running a retreat. (laughs) The voice said, go as soon as you can. It's important. And I said to the voice, okay, well, why do I need to go to Greece? The voice said to me, that will be revealed. Just go. And so I rolled back over in my bed, wondering why my guidance had really gotten so bossy and so direct and so seemingly random when there was really no clear reason why I should go to Greece other than, of course, I love Greece. (laughs) So an hour later, I got up out of bed and I, I messaged my assistant and I said, please, change my flight out of Peru. I need to fly to Greece. And she replied to me and said, okay, why are you going to Greece? And I said, I don't know. (laughs) She goes, okay, sure. I'll adjust your flights. (laughs) And I laughed at this, just really, really noticing at this moment, firstly, how much deep trust I was in. However, after she, after she sent back an email and uh, told me my flight was adjusted, the doubt started to creep in and I started to doubt my bold trusting of this guidance. I mean, I was booked to speak in Costa Rica at a community event that I really cared very deeply about. And this whole Greece mission would mean that I completely missed that speaking event. But every time I tuned in and I felt it, I knew I had to go to Greece. So later that evening in the Peru event, we went into sacred ceremony with our tribe and I had put Greece to the side at this point. I was instead focusing on my intentions that I was focusing on for the ceremony. I was also being very present for all of our divine people, the divine clients in the space. And so after receiving the medicine, I I lay down and I felt the bliss of the entire group also lying down and beginning to surrender to the magic that was about to unfold. Then about halfway through the ceremony, I started seeing an interesting set of what looked like circles and grid lines. And as I asked to see more, I saw that the circles were indeed islands with energetic lines linking all of them up. And so I inquired and I said, well, show me more. And then I thought, wait, are these? And that same voice that I'd heard earlier in the morning boldly proclaimed, yes. (laughs) And before I knew it, a stunning golden goddess had appeared right before my eyes. I could see her vividly in every detail. And when she spoke, every time she spoke, I had goosebumps all over my body. I looked into her eyes, this golden goddess, and she looked like me and she felt like me, but she was different to me. She said to me directly, these are the Greek islands that you are seeing and you beloved are required to go to that little one right here in the middle of this vortex. Okay. I said, and the goddess continued on, see the lines, 
These are dragon lines, energetic lines linking vortexes to vortexes all over the planet. Notice how they all meet in this tiny central island and then run out to all of the other islands. This is why these islands are called the Clocades because they form a circle around the little main island in the center. And each of the main temples on each of these islands are the exact same distance from this vortex center point. And then each of these grids not only link up on the earth, but they link directly to the galactic grids and certain star constellations as well. But these grids also link directly to the galactic grids and certain star constellations. All of this information will be important later on in your mission. And I said, okay, but why am I meant to go here? And this goddess said to me, this mission is required for humanity, dear one, and it is required right now. This island you will discover is an oracle center. You may also come to realize that it's Mother Mary's island. Many things took place on this island across all time, space, and dimensions, and these things will be revealed to you over time. And one of the main things that you need to know is that you are to go there, and you are to go there soon, and you are to be a messenger to the messengers, whilst allowing a divine activation to take place on the island. I asked the goddess, what does this activation entail? You are to activate the intuitive goddess codes through these grids. Much is stored in these grids and also much is to be leveraged through these grids in order for all women on planet Earth to step fully into their true sovereign being and ultimately activate their sacred goddess within. Beloved, you will also be required to go to Bali and to go to Egypt to complete this mission after Greece. The first activation is taking place right here, right now in Peru through you. And after that, it will be up to you to complete this mission for humanity. It was like the goddess sensed my overwhelm, which was starting to bubble through my entire body, even though I didn't say anything. Beloved, she continued on. Do not worry about the next layers of Bali and the next layers of Egypt at this present time. Just focus on being here, present, beloved, during this initial activation in Peru and focus your intention towards Greece for now. Okay, I said, but this seems like a really big mission. I mean, why me? Why now? That's your lower self talking, she said straight back to me. You know why. Get it done. Wait, I said, can my, can my beloved come with me to Greece? No, she said boldly, you must go alone. It is important for all women that you go there and you do this alone. Okay. <laughs> and with a flash of light, the golden goddess disappeared before me as I lay there with my physical body trembling all over. I felt in that moment a, a deep sense of, of longing, of yearning for her to return. And that feeling only stopped when I remembered that the goddess is not outside of me and I could access her at any time, just like the goddess is not outside of you and you can access her at any time. I thought in that moment, okay, I guess I'm really going to Greece. <laughs> and I surrendered even deeper with every cell of my being to what I was being called to do. So that's a little snapshot of how these codes started to come through. I did go to Greece and I continued that mission. Um, all of this will be outlined in great detail in my book, The Intuitive Goddess, which is coming out as soon as I'm able to complete the final piece of the activation. I then went to Bali and I completed that facet of activating the 13 Intuitive Goddess codes. And yes, the last piece will be activated in Egypt due to borders closing. I haven't been able to get there, but I absolutely will not be stopped. And I know that it will be in perfect, absolute divine timing when this does activate and it does transpire in the 3D physical reality. So just remember, these codes are available to you right now. If you desire to go deeper into them, I invite you to take a look at the 13 intuitive goddess codes and go deep into an online immersion, which I have created around this, which gives you all the activations and teaches you each of the codes and how to embody them one by one, piece by piece. But just know beyond that, that these codes are available to you and they're activated through the grids of humanity for any woman wanting to really step up into her true potential, her true power, and truly activate her gifts so that she can can be of greater service and in greater alignment with her divine mission here on the planet right now.
Thank you for tuning in to this episode in the Silvana podcast. I shared a little bit around the 13 intuitive goddess codes, the beautiful body of work which was channeled through starting in Peru, which then got its foundations laid in Greece and then Bali and is yet to be completed as the very final piece through the grids of Egypt, allowing all of this to activate right now. Thank you so much for listening and I'm excited to dive deep with you on another episode really soon. Dear listener, if you resonate with Regan and her style and would like Regan to help you rise, expand and manifest greater levels of abundance, you'll absolutely love her free immersions and her journey on Solvana. To get and experience more abundance magic from Regan, simply visit solvana.com forward slash Regan or click the link in the description of this episode. Would you like Regan to cover a specific topic on her podcast, help you with a specific challenge, or answer your question, or perhaps send a message to Regan? Simply visit sylvana.com forward slash Regan, or click the link in the description of this episode. Thank you so much for being here, and we can't wait to connect with you energetically in another episode. See you soon.